Hey guys, what's going on? This is Seth from the RE Tipster blog, and there's an issue that comes into play pretty much any time I'm working with a property that is just way out in the middle of nowhere. And one of the inherent challenges that comes with working in the vacant land business is that a lot of vacant land properties do not have a registered street address. So you can't just plug an address into Google Maps and get directions to it. It just doesn't work that way. And as a result, you have to understand where the property is located and usually find the actual GPS coordinates of that property. And one way to do this is to look on the county's GIS mapping system, assuming they have one. And once you understand exactly where that property is, something you can do is open up Google Earth like this, and you can actually figure out what the exact GPS coordinates are of pretty much any point on Earth. And all you have to do is go up here to this little push pin, click on this, and then drag it over to wherever the property is located. For this example here, I just picked a place at random on the globe, but we're gonna say it's this little triangle looking piece of land. We're gonna say that that's the property we're looking at, so we'll just put the pin right there. And if we want to, we can name it or we can just leave it as untitled, it doesn't really matter. The important thing is that this tells us what the latitude and longitude of this point on Earth are. So we could take this information right here, just copy this, and then go over here to Google Maps. And then once we're here, we just put this first number in there like that. We go back here, grab the second one, the longitude, put this in there as well, and then click search. And then that brings us to the exact same spot on Earth, as you can see. And th this perspective is a little bit different. This is looking directly from above, whereas this one right here is looking kind of at an angle here, but it's pretty much the exact same spot. And I'll also mention, I know some mapping applications don't do a very good job of understanding these particular kinds of coordinates, but they can understand the coordinates if you get them formatted the right way. So for example, you could right click here and then click directions to here. And then up here in the upper left hand corner, it's gonna show you the GPS coordinates in a different format. And if you were to just copy these numbers rather than uh, this version, you know, just refer to this kind and then paste that into Google Maps or Bing Maps or whatever other mapping application you're using. Sometimes those numbers will work a little bit better than the literal latitude and longitude. So just keep that in mind if you happen to come across that issue. So one reason this is important is because not only when I'm trying to locate the property, but also when it comes time for me to sell the property, a lot of times what I'll do is I will take a few screenshots of the parcel map from the county, and I'll sort of zoom out and get a few different perspectives of it just to show its surroundings and help people understand where it is in relation to other things in the area. So I might get one from here, and then from here, and then from there, just so people can kind of understand you know, where it is in relation to these things and this mountain and that mountain. However, inevitably, that's still not gonna be enough. A lot of people are still going to need an address so that they can plug it into their own GPS system and get there. And I can't do that because I don't have an address. But what I do have are these GPS coordinates right here. And the nice thing about Google Maps is that it makes it really easy to go ahead and just share this like so. You can shorten this URL, copy it like this. And then if we open up a new window and paste this URL in there, it takes us to that exact map, exactly as we saved it. So pretty much no matter what I do over here, if I wanted to change the look of the map to just show the map, not the satellite picture, if I wanted to zoom out even further, if I go ahead and share that URL based on however I have it looking over here, if I go over here and paste it over here again, it's going to show exactly the way it looks. And something that's even better is that when a person gets this link from you, like say you just copy it and email it to them or text it to them, it's very easy for them to go ahead and click this directions button and put in whatever their address is or whatever their starting point is, and it will show them directions to this exact point on earth that you picked out. Or say if you happen to know whatever city this person is coming from. Say if they want to go visit the property and you know that they are from, I don't know, Boulder, Colorado or something like that. You just go ahead and put that in here and it will go ahead and generate some directions for us, some actual turn-by-turn -turn directions. And then once we've picked whichever route we want them to take, we can go ahead and click share again and do this exact same thing. Go ahead and paste this into a new window 
And there we go. Now, if somebody clicks that link we sent them and they're coming from Boulder, Colorado, it's going to show them, you know, just pretty general directions of starting from Boulder and going to our property exactly how they get there, turn by turn. So it's really a nice way to take an issue that can be very confusing. Say if a person is not certain where a property is or if they're not certain how to get there and there's no address, this is one way to kind of add more clarity to that issue. So it doesn't necessarily guarantee that going to get there but at least you know you've done your part in terms of showing them exactly where on earth it is and you've given them some pretty decent directions on how to get there and then it's kind of up to them to use the parcel maps or whatever other imagery you're able to provide them to actually get there and I should also note if you're going to go to the point of you know finding the spot on the globe where it is and using this whole GPS pinpoint thing just make sure that you actually do understand where the property is beyond the shadow of a doubt because the last thing you want to do is pinpoint the wrong place that isn't actually the property you're referring to and then you send somebody to the wrong location. If you go down this road, just make sure you're 110% sure where that property is. But assuming you are, it's pretty easy to use Google Earth to get those GPS coordinates and send them a link. That's pretty much it. That's uh, how the GPS function works in Google Earth. Hopefully that will be of some use to you if you ever come across a property that is difficult to pinpoint. This should help eliminate a lot of ambiguity around that. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.